Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today I want to show you a nice, simple way that you can test your game in the editor while playing it on your phone. So to do that, we're going to use the Unity Remote app. You can grab this from the Play Store. Just download and install it on your phone. I've got it right here on mine. Probably see that right there. And if you launch the Unity Remote app, you see it actually tells you exactly how to use it. You need to go in and set up the project settings editor device. So to do that, we'll go to edit and we go to project settings and editor and we need to choose the any Android device. That's what I select at least. Now you also need to make sure that you're plugged in through USB, that your phone is unlocked, you know, not in a lock state. If you're at the, the lock menu like that, you're not gonna be able to do anything. And then um, you also need to make sure that you have USB debugging enabled. Assuming that you have all of that set up and you're on an Android platform, so if you go to build settings, make sure that you've switched over to Android or iOS if you're doing this with iOS. Although it's been a long time since I tried this with iOS, I'm not sure how well it works. Assume it's about the same though. But anyway, once you're done with all that and just sitting in Unity Remote just like this, we can hit play and then watch what happens. Give it just a second. I'll just hold my phone up here so you should be able to see the games on there. It's not great with the lighting, but I can sit here and shoot or grab the controls and just start running around. It's a great way to test out the mobile controls especially and to just see how your game is going to look on the phone. Now it's not actually deploying. I think it does some streaming to and from the device for streaming the output and then getting the input back into the editor. But it does uh, give a pretty good representation of how your game will play and what it'll look like and feel like. Now you do want to make sure to do actual builds intermittently too and deploy out to the device to make sure there aren't any problems or differences. And the other thing I wanted to point out because this caught me off guard was to make sure that when you're not trying to run on a device you switch Unity Remote back to none. If you leave this on any Android device, at least when I left it on any Android device, a lot of my other input, my mouse input and keyboard input, stopped working, started having problems. So just make sure that you switch back and turn that off. Maybe that's just a specific issue for my setup. I'm not completely sure, but it's something that I noticed and it was a big pain. Anyway, that's really all there is to it. It's super simple to set up. It's super easy to get going. I just noticed that a lot of people didn't know about this functionality or this feature and were wasting time doing builds. Figured I should share and you know give you a little heads up on how I like to do it and how to save a little bit of time. All right, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, have a great day and keep coding.